What's up guys, Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video, which was the Warlock video, I think I put it out on the weekend, but I might not have. It might have been Monday or Tuesday. But if you left a comment in the comment section below of that video, then you were entered into this giveaway, which was the Typhoon edition of RIP. So it will unlock all of your earring slots and all that good stuff. So hopefully you got entered in. The winner of that giveaway is, bam, right there. Congratulations, enjoy your Typhoon Edition. I will be sending it to you just shortly in the game. This week's giveaway is, I think I'm gonna give away some wrecks. How about some wrecks? All right, how many? Let's give away five wrecks. And if you are somebody that used my referral code, then I'm gonna give you five wrecks. So if you use my referral code, be prepared for some big rewards. The rules are simple. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this very video with your character name and server. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. The winner will be announced in the next Saturday video. Good luck everyone. that time again guys where we address the state of pvp in the month of january this time and if you've seen my past state of pvp videos you know that they're kind of the center of controversy and they get a lot more attention than i thought they would get so since they're quite popular we're going to continue it on and this time it's for the month of january so we have to start off with something that has a recent impact, but it happened back in December. And that was Arconix being announced as the game director of Rift. Now, whenever it happened, everybody gave a resounding, eh, okay. Nobody really cared. We didn't really know who he was. We didn't know what kind of effect he would have on PvP or anything else like that. So nobody was really all that excited about him being announced as a game director, except for the Daglar haters. But Daglar wasn't going anywhere. He's still part of the Rift team and still helping out where he can. So fast forward a little bit in the month of December and you have where I posted the video of the state of PvP in December. And... In my video, I really focused on the gear issue with PvPers because a lot of other people were seeing the class imbalances like Inquisitors being so overpowered and Rangers and Pyromancers being so strong, but yet they didn't really address too much of the gear issue. And in my State of PvP video, I mentioned the gear issue was the most important thing to me. And Fast forward a little bit more and somebody had posted my video to the Rift forums and I was blown away by the amount of people that agreed with my video because usually whenever my videos get posted to the forums, everybody is against me and it's always uh, grim is the enemy kind of thing. But this time everybody was agreeing with me and Daglar started replying to the thread and gave it a lot of attention. So he would reply back to these people that were requesting things being changed in PvP and he was agreeing with them. So all of a sudden we started seeing a massive change in PvP. All of a sudden the Marauder chest were being introduced as uh, dropping more usable gear instead of opening up and always getting a platinum or two. Now you would have Marauder gear dropping. Well... That was always a problem still because the gear that was dropping out of it was very, very bad. And that's something else that was addressed in my state of PvP in December was that the gear, even coming fresh out of the box, here it's a PvP box basically, but the gear that drops out of it is bolstered. So you can't even use the gear that comes out of these boxes because they're so low in stats that it's automatically bolstered in PvP. So in order to even use this gear, you had to upgrade it, but the upgrade cost was always very expensive. So he also replied in that thread saying that he was going to reduce the cost of upgrading Marauder gear. Everybody was seeing it as a very positive thing that Daglar was addressing the situations and making changes that people were requesting. 
And it's around this time that we start to see Arconics coming onto the scene more. And it seems like his top priority is fixing the PvP situation. As you can see by all of his recent posts on the forums have all been PvP related. Yes, he's made some comments on the PvE forums and all that, but the fact that he's given PvPers so much attention and wanting to fix things shows that he is going to be an amazing game director for the foreseeable future. As soon as he started replying to everybody on the PvP forums, we started to see talks of the PvP gear being boosted in power. And he even posted a picture of all the uh, some of the gear that's being boosted up. And as you can see, it's quite a bit better in stats than what we were seeing before. And he's also said that the gear that only has the three primary stats is going to be removed from the loot table. So if you've got Marauder boxes right now, don't open them up until that happens because if you open up gear that it only has the three stats, it will not be upgraded to the new gear that's going to be coming out because it's it's just being removed from the loot table it isn't going to be retroactively fixed for everybody that's already opened up the terrible gear naturally people started being concerned about the procs that happened with weapons and trinkets and all that because the pve gear still was so much better to be used in pvp because the procs of pve gear was so much better than the pvp gear another thing that we're going to be able to look forward to is an additional upgrade tier for the marauder chest gear so now we'll be able to power our stuff up to where it's competitive with the pve gear but hopefully it's not going to outshine the PvE gear because then that would make the other side of the fence quite upset. But people have said it best on the forums whenever they said that you've got to make the PvE gear on the same level as the PvE gear or none of this is going to matter because if PvPers have to go into war fronts and conquests with inferior gear compared to those that are raiding and doing just dungeons, then it's not going to help anything and the PvPers are still going to feel like they're not getting the attention that they deserve. As you can see, many good changes have already happened and more are coming up on the horizon, all thanks to Daglar and Arconics just listening to the PvP community and doing some of the stuff that we have been requesting. During a recent live stream, the team has also addressed the CQ problems in Conquest anybody that takes part in conquest knows that it's always being dominated by just one team everybody else is just out there to be fodder and almost always loses if you join the steps in infinity you're in there about two minutes before you see which team is going to win it and then you go ahead and leave because there's no point in even staying in that match if you don't want to waste all of your time just watching another team beat on everybody else and then win the match still more is a little more volatile in that uh smaller team can possibly win it but really it's all about who's got the leader and the pre-mades are really running over everybody so in the live stream they address this by saying that they're thinking about making it to where pre-mades can only enter with five people into a cq match that would mean that the team of 20 people can't come in and just absolutely dominate all the other teams by already having a raid force and then just gathering everybody else up and steamrolling the other teams. Instead, it'll be groups of five all being distributed out to different teams and nobody will seem to have a real advantage unless they have a good leader. Now, whether this is a good change or a bad change, I'm not real sure. It just seems like they're really trying to address the CQ problem because it is definitely a problem what is going on because you have just one team that's winning everything and everybody else is just fodder and it's been that way for a while now so the rift team is obviously seen as a big problem that one team can farm the cq boxes whereas everybody else is just going to be fodder and destroyed being pugs they say they're going to test this out a little bit more and see how the players react to it and we'll see if it uh, works out pretty well or not Another thing they said they were going to do is flag pre-mades in Warfronts. So if you go into a Warfront and the other team is steamrolling your team, it's automatically assumed that the other team has a pre-made and that's why they're winning the way that they are. 
Well, this will remove the whole boogeyman situation where you always think the other team has a pre-made and out to get you. You'll be able to see if they have a pre-made or not, that way that you can't be afraid of what isn't really there. But that also shows that they're wanting to address the pre-made situations altogether because pre-mades are obviously dominating in anywhere they go with Warfronts or CQ and Tron is very aware of the problems and I know they're not wanting to take away the aspect of playing with your friends and they don't want to take away a lot of the strategy that you might uh, come in with such as in a CQ but they have to stop what is going on where it's just a one-sided beating at all times. But with all of the changes that Tryon is doing with the efforts of Arconix and Daglar, we're still not seeing any fix to the class balance issues. And you still have the Inquisitors running around just destroying everybody and they've got so much utility. They've got the purges that remove two buffs. They've got self heals. They've got extreme bursts they've got uh dots they've got everything in a full package and nothing has been done to change this and everybody is talking about it on the forums and complaining but nobody has made a change to this yet there's other class balance that needs to be addressed as well such as the extreme amount of cc that pyros have uh, a lot of people aren't happy with the uh, amount of power that Diffuse has with Rangers. And also, you know, Warriors are really feeling left out in the dark whenever they cannot play Warrior like they used to. And uh, it's true that almost every class has some kind of DPS spec that can reign supreme, such as Rogues have the Nightblade or Assassin specs. Warrior has Paragon of... Uh, Cleric obviously has Inquisitor, and Mage has Pyro, but it's all about being able to play your class efficiently without being so much underpowered compared to the other ones. And take for instance, Paragon can do Extreme Burst, but then you hit it with a, with a wet noodle and all of a sudden it dies a lot of times. Since the gear problems are being fixed and modified to where everybody should be happy coming up, hopefully they will address the class issues real soon and then we'll have some real balance in this game. Well, that is the state of PvP in January, my friends. Hopefully you'll continue to tune in because in the month of February, we will be doing another one and we'll see what all of these changes are going to have on the impact of PvP altogether. So as usual guys, my name is Grim and I will see you next time.